What are some emotional experiences in your life that you remember particularly well? Maybe it's a positive experience like the birth of a child or career accomplishment, or a negative event like the loss of a loved one or physical accident. We all know what it's like for an emotional experience to be particularly memorable, especially when compared to mundane events like what you had for lunch a week ago. While recalling an emotional event, you may also clearly recall other details from the time surrounding the event. For example, what you wore that day or what was playing on the car radio before something emotional happened, like a car crash. These details can sometimes be just as vivid as the main event itself and they become inseparable from your story of the event. These details are called contextual details, pieces of other information surrounding an emotional event. But why do you remember these contextual details? And is your memory of these contextual details really as accurate as you might think? Cognitive neuroscientists have repeatedly shown that emotional stimuli, whether they are positive or negative, are more memorable than emotionally neutral stimuli. In one experiment, participants were shown two categories of neutral pictures. One category was paired with light electric shocks automatically creating a negative emotional association. 24 hours later, participants completed a surprise recognition memory test for these items they were shown the previous day. Even though the pictures themselves were not emotional, researchers found that participants had better memory for the items that were paired with the electric shock compared to those that weren't. This was true regardless of which category was paired with the shock. From an evolutionary perspective, stronger memory for emotional events has helped us survive as a species. For example, if while foraging you ate a new kind of bright red berry and then had a terrible stomach ache and almost died of food poisoning, it's best that your brain automatically associates the new red berry with the negative emotional experience of stomach aches, warning and preventing you from eating more of them in the future. What about enhanced memory of details before and after the emotional event? Cognitive neuroscientists have also explored this question experimentally as well. In the same experiment where participants are more likely to remember pictures that were paired with shocks, they are also more likely to remember pictures shown during phases where no shocking was administered if the images were conceptually similar. For example, if shocks were paired with images of animals, then they are more likely to remember images of animals shown before and after forming the negative emotional association with the shock when asked 24 hours later, compared to other images they were shown, like images of tools. This suggests that emotion can also enhance memory for conceptually related details close in time to an emotional event. Again, this is an evolutionarily adaptive process. If you noticed a paw print and thought nothing of it, but were then later almost attacked by the animal that left it, it would be helpful to realize and clearly remember that the paw print, a contextual detail conceptually related to the later emotional stimulus, was a sign to be careful. Now, you've probably found that these ideas that an emotional event strengthens memory for the event as well as a variety of details from before and after ring true with your experiences. But a more challenging question to ask yourself is how accurate are these memories? In the same experiment, participants were also asked to remember when they encountered each picture. Relative to when the pictures were paired with shocks, did you see this picture before, during, or after? Results were surprising. Emotion distorted this detail of when they thought they saw it. Participants consistently misremembered and said that these other pictures were shown to them during the emotional phase, even if they were actually shown before or after the emotional phase. While participants were better at recognizing these items, at the same time they were worse at remembering when they had seen them. What does this error in memory mean for real world examples? Maybe your memory of an emotional event and its details has temporal inaccuracies, and you remember things being closer in time than they actually were around an emotional event. So, as you can see, emotion's effect on memory is not as simple as being for better or worse. It is clear that emotional events produce stronger memories than non-emotional, and that conceptually related details are also enhanced. At the same time, however, temporal inaccuracies and biases about those contextual details are introduced, meaning that emotion enhances your memory, but also distorts it. The mechanisms behind these effects will continue to be investigated in future research. An improved understanding of these phenomena may help us better treat psychiatric conditions like PTSD. This video was made on behalf of the Dunsmore and Lewis Peacock Labs at UT Austin. To learn more about the experiment mentioned in this video and the research on this particular topic, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching.